The day Celeste Saunders' funeral was held, the town went quiet. It was like every single person went to mourn her. Every single person, except me. I tried to. I really did. I just couldn't. So I stayed home. I stayed home and I prayed. And I begged God. For help. For forgiveness. For some kind of answer. But I got nothing. She was gone. And there was nothing I could do about it. And I didn't know what I was going to do without her. Uh, can I help you? I need help logging into the Wi-Fi and there's no one at the desk. So you just went my head went out of my ear? Well, how else were you supposed to hear me? It's just your uni ID and your password for computers. <laughs> I know that, but it doesn't work. Well, sorry, there's not much I can do about that. Can you not log in to yours or something? I don't know my password. Ask someone else. After that, I started seeing her all the time. Medium or calm or milk, no cream. Eating or take away. Can I just get a black Americana to go? Sure, that'd be three pound forty when you're ready. It didn't matter what time of the day I went. She was always there. So apparently she was in my class. I didn't know that. I guess I hadn't really noticed her before. And I don't really know how it happened, but we started hanging out a lot. We would do assignments together and grab each other coffee sometimes. She was the first person I actually hung out with in uni. Before her, I kind of just kept to myself. She introduced me to her friends, and always did her best to make me feel included. We were inseparable. I felt like I could talk to her about anything. She had this way of making people feel so interesting, even if it was something she didn't really care about. It was nice. Celeste had diverticulitis. She hadn't told anyone else. She was scared of dying. She had this whole notion that it wasn't the way she wanted to go because she didn't want to be defined by it. I didn't think she was going to be so important to me. But she was. And she is. I think I realised it too late. Or maybe I knew, and I just accepted it too late. 
she was an adventure. I found myself doing things I never would have done before when I was with her. No, bad. you shouldn't have. I'm, I'm not like you. I'm not gay. I'm sorry, I totally. I need to go. Out. And that was the last time I saw her. We got an email from the uni that one of my classmates had committed suicide. I didn't believe it when I saw her name. <laughs> the Pride Club were devastated. Blaming her suicide on homophobia or whatever. I blamed myself with what happened between us the last time I saw her. But I received a letter in the post a few days later. Mary, I don't really know how to write this sort of thing, but I guess I should start by telling you I'm sorry for leaving you, that you had to find out this way, that we didn't get a proper goodbye. You made the last few months of my life so wonderful. You're so wonderful. I hope you know that. You brought so much light into my life. Some stuff came up on my tests last time I was at the hospital, and I had a surgery scheduled for next week. I had a really low chance of survival, and I just didn't want to go that way. So this was my way of taking control of my life. People are going to think all types of things. Please just let them. This is how I wanted them to remember me. A mystery. 
no regrets. But I do have one regret. I'm sorry about the way we left things. I never meant to damage what we had. But I do love you, Mary Edwards. And I'm so grateful for the time we spent together. All my love, Celeste. The day Celeste Saunders' funeral was held, the town went quiet. It was like every single person went to mourn her. Every single person, except me. I stayed home. She was gone. And I'm the only one who knew why. Celeste. I was right in front of you and you didn't say anything. You left me. And I still don't hate you, but God, it hurts. I blamed myself when people were speculating about your death. The internalized homophobia. That wasn't you. It could have easily been me. Pride is important because there is still someone out there who thinks they're better off dead than gay. But that wasn't why she died. I love you too, Celeste Saunders. I really do.